Hello, sports fans and football fans. Sportsman Z, and it's Tuesday, and you know what that means. That means I'm here with some smooth jazz music for you and my picks for week 11. But first, as always, we have to recap how the sportsman did in week 10. And here it is. Nine and five in week 10. And 87 and 63 on the year. So yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, you gotta say, that's pretty good. Nine and five, in fact, that's, I mean, nine wins might be what I got the previous two weeks combined. But anyway, we're not gonna discuss that. We, the point is we had a good week, and so let's make it another good week in week 11 as we forge on ahead. And that will take us to the first game of week 11, which is the Thursday, November 18th game. And that game is between the Patriots and the Falcons. And the Falcons are at home. So who am I gonna pick? Okay, I mean, right. We're definitely gonna go with the Patriots in this one. I mean, they were very impressive last week, destroying the Cleveland Browns. And, uh, you know, Belichick, that guy is never ill-prepared for a football game. So, now we're moving on to the Sunday, November 21st games. The week of Thanksgiving, I believe. And uh, the first game on that docket is going to be my Bears. My Bears are at home against the Ravens. Now, you know what? This game is really closer than some might think. Because the Bears really were robbed of a win against the Steelers because they were playing the Steelers and the referees. And the Ravens last week got beat by, I don't even remember, I mean, that's how bad it was. It was a team that should not have beaten them. So, really, I want to say this game is closer than it might look. Especially if these guys can play like they did or a little better than they did against the Steelers. And if these guys play like they did last week against whoever it was that they lost to that they shouldn't have lost to. Um, so, but in general, I've got to assume that the good Ravens are going to show up and that the regular Bears will show up. And that would mean, let's go with the Ravens. So I'm going to take the Ravens in that one. Although, not 100% confident about it. The next one we have is the Jaguars are at home against the 49ers. And you know what I'm going to do in this one? I'm going Jags. Yeah, let's go with the Jags over the 49ers. I think the 49ers are just in disarray. And the Jaguars and their new coach, Urban Meyer are learning the ropes as they go, and every week they seem to get a little better, a little bit more competitive, and I think that that's going to serve them well against the 49ers, who they just might beat. The next one we have is the Washington football team is going to Carolina. And you know what I'm going to do here? Because you know that Washington just beat the world champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I'm going Washington. Yeah, baby. Going Washington. Even though Cam Newton may be back for the uh, Carolina Panthers. You don't know what you're getting. You don't know if you're getting the Cam Newton from like 2015 when he was with Carolina. Or you don't know if you're getting the Cam Newton from last year with the Patriots. If you're getting that Cam Newton, that's not a good thing. The next one we have is an NFC North matchup. And that's going to be the Packers taking on the Vikings. And the Vikings are the home team. And the Vikings have been in every single game this year. 
every single game. But guess what? No, we're going to go with the pack. Um, Rodgers didn't look that impressive last week against Seattle, but he had had an entire week off. He wasn't practicing because of the COVID problems. And now he will be able to practice all week long with the team. I expect him to not be missing a notch. And he's going to be off to the races. Um, I think the Vikings will keep it a close game because they play close games against everybody. But I don't think they're going to beat Green Bay. Next we have the Browns at home against the Lions. And yeah. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the Browns there. Even though the Browns looked horrible, absolutely horrible, they did against the uh, uh, who did they play? The Patriots, yes. So, but we're still gonna go with the Browns in that one. Uh, next one we got the Bills are at home against the Colts. The Colts have been playing better football lately. But let's go with the Bills. Let's take the Bills and uh, let's run with that because they should beat the Colts if they play the way that they should play. Uh, the next one we have is the, the Eagles are at home against the New Orleans Saints. And then this one... I am going to ride the Eagles wave, and I'm going to go with the Eagles again. Remember last week they played Denver, in Denver, and I took the Eagles, and I got that right. And this week, I think they're going to beat New Orleans. New Orleans really has not looked like anything special most of the year. And I got to believe they're not going to beat the Eagles. The Eagles have been playing a little better football lately. Next one we have, the Jets are at home and they're hosting the Dolphins in this AFC East matchup. And, uh, <laughs> right, we're going to go with the Dolphins. Um, the Dolphins, let's not pretend that the Dolphins are good. They're not. But I think the Jets are in a little worse shape, if I have to say so myself. And I do. The next one we have, the Titans are hosting the Texans. And uh, this is an AFC, what do they call it? AFC South, maybe, matchup? I'm not sure what division, but anyway. I am going to go with the Titans, particularly at home. They still, you know, they um, are still missing their Derrick Henry running back guy, but they are playing the Texans. And hey, they won last week against whoever it was they played. I don't remember off the top of my head, but they still didn't have Derrick Henry. And they won the week before that against the Rams without Derrick Henry. So apparently, the moral of this story is they don't need Derrick Henry. The next one you got is the um, Raiders are hosting the Bengals. And we're going to go with the Bengals. Now, this one, admittedly, it could go either way. A few weeks ago, both teams were really good and playing really good football. It would have been a hard pick then. And right now, both teams are playing bad football, not playing well at all. And again, it's a hard pick, but I'm still going to go with the Cincinnati Bengals in there. Next, you got the boys. The Cowboys are going to go into Arrowhead Stadium, or whatever it's called now. And they are going to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, you saw that the Chiefs just got done dismantling whoever they played. Again, I, it's, I'm drawing a blank, but they won 41-14. Actually, I think they, they beat the Raiders. That's who they beat, 41-14. But I'm not buying that that Kansas City Chiefs team is back yet. Until they show me on a consistent basis, so I'm going to go with Dallas. Um, Dallas really also has the better defense. So they have an offense, I think, that can hang with Kansas City's, but they've got a better defense. 
The next one you have is the Seahawks are at home and they are hosting the Cardinals. And as bad as the Cardinals looked last week, I'm still going to go with the Cardinals. Because guess what? The Seahawks didn't look very good either. Now you go on to the Sunday night game, and that is going to be the Chargers are at home against the Steelers, and I don't even care if ben, Big Ben comes back. I'm going to go with the Chargers. They almost came back and beat the Vikings, although I don't know whether that's an indictment or a good thing. And now we move along to the Monday, November 22nd game. And you got the Buccaneers are at home against uh, the Giants, the G-Men. <laughs> right. No. We're going to go with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Even though they were horrible against the Washington football team last week. I have to believe they're not going to let that happen again. You got 15 games this week. That means that there is one game that isn't played. And that is, um, well, the two teams that have a bye that would have consisted of a potential uh, 16th game are Denver and the Rams are both on a bye this week. So, what do you guys think? Leave me a comment below. Let me know where you differ with me. That's a lot simpler than just listing all your picks. Unless you want to list all your picks, you can do that too. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed because, hey, I love to see new subscribers every day. And I don't have commercials in any of my videos. I have a lot of good sports content for you to look at. And, I mean, it's like being a kid in a candy store. So, you know, why not? And it doesn't cost you anything. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.